The Tragic Final Years of Shemp Howard. Secrets You Didn't Know. Shemp Howard was born Samuel Horwitz on March 11, 1895, in Manhattan, New York City, and raised in Brooklyn. He was one of the five sons of his Jewish parents, Jenny Horwitz and Solomon Horwitz. He had two younger brothers, Mo and Jerome, as well as two older brothers, Irving and Benjamin. Initially Shemp Howard and his brother Mo appeared as minstrel show-style blackface comedians in the act titled Howard and Howard A Study in Black. During this time, the duo also worked for a rival vaudeville circuit, appearing without makeup. After this, Shemp became a part of an act known as Ted Healy and his Stooges. The Stooges of this act included the Howard brothers and others who joined and left between 1925 and 1928. In August 1930, following a disagreement with Ted, Shemp and his brother Mo and their friend Larry Fine launched their own act titled Howard, Fine Howard and became part of the RKO vaudeville circuit. Soon after this, the three premiered at Paramount Theatre. In 1931, the Howard brothers added three lost souls to their act's name, and also hired Jack Walsh as their straight man. They continued this way until July 1932, when Healy approached them to collaborate again for Passing Show of 1932 and the brothers readily accepted the offer. However, due to a contract dispute on August 16, 1932, Healy walked out during rehearsals. Due to this, Shemp got frustrated and left Healy's act to stay with Passing Show. Shemp Howard also performed solo. He initially worked at the Vitaphone studio in Brooklyn, playing small roles in comedies, showing off his goofiness. The comedian starred with Vitaphone comics Jack Haley, Gus Shy, and Ben Blue and then co-starred with Daphne Pollard, Johnny Burks and Harry Gribben. Then after starring in his own two real comedies, Howard landed in his first film role in the 1934 movie Art Trouble. In late 1935, Shemp was cast in Vitaphone S. Joe Palooka comic strip. He starred in the first seven shorts which got released during 1936 and 1937. After this, the American comedian moved to the West Coast and performed at several studios, including Universal Studios and Columbia Pictures. After appearing in the 1939 flick Another Thin Man, he acted in the movies The Bank Dick, Millionaires in Prison and The Invisible Woman. Shemp then had a role in the movie How's About It in 1943. A year later, he did a few films, such as Crazy Nights, and Three of a Kind. In the year 1946, he became a part of the comedy flick One Exciting Week. He then performed in the films Africa Screams, 1949, and Gold Raiders, 1951. Shemp Howard was married to Gertrude Frank from 1925 until his death. The couple had one child, Mort Howard, who was born on February 26, 1927. Sadly, on November 22, 1955, Shemp went out with some of his pals to a boxing match at the old Hollywood Legion Stadium. While returning home in a taxicab, he died of a sudden massive heart attack. He was 60 at that time. The actor was buried in the indoor mausoleum at Home of Peace Cemetery in East Los Angeles. Goodbye Shimp Howard.